bless God. Welcome to Life in Christ International Church. I am Pastor Alicia Williams, and this is our end of month message. What a grace from God that the Lord would provide for our church a prophetic season, a prophetic time where the Lord God ministers to our life about divine strength. Listen, 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 church. We don't know that we need the divine strength of God until our weakest moment, until our weakest time. But we serve a God that provided his divine strength before the, 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 the start, before the beginning of this world. And, and what I love about God is that he provides for us. He manifests himself for us even well before we even know that we need a thing. And so as we sit in this place with the Lord Church, as the Lord ministers to our life and our heart church about divine strength, so that we come into knowing the fullness of who he is, in us and for us. And with that church, we open our end of month message time together in and with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you, Lord God, that it is your divine strength. We thank you, Lord God, that your word reminds us that when we are weak, then thou art made strong. Father, we thank you for a prophetic season, for a divine season where we can get into your word, where we can be in your presence, oh great God, to come unto you, into your divine strength. Oh great God, you in all things, in every area, in every way, continue to get all the glory, Lord God, all the honor, Lord God, and all the praise. Father, we Bless your name, Father. We honor you, O great God. Father, we extol you, we exalt you, we magnify you, O great God. The word of God says, when the enemy came to eat of my flesh, they stumbled and fell. You, O great God, show us, Father. By your love, show us, Father, by your grace, who you are. And we thank you for it, O God. We thank you for our church, oh God. We thank you, Father, that you are the God who hung, bled, and died on the cross for our sins so that we might be saved. It is your blood that covers us. It is your blood that protects us. It is your blood, Lord Jesus, that keeps us. And Father, may your anointing rest upon this message this morning as we go into our end of month message. May your anointing rest upon your messenger. May you, Father, continue to show us and prove to us and magnify in our life and our walk with you the fullness of who you are. And for that, Lord, we bless you. We praise you and we thank you in Jesus' name. This is our end of month message. This is what the Lord has been leading us to here at our church all month long. This is what the Lord has been saying to us. Look, I don't know what you are facing at this very moment. I don't know what is to come. But I do know that we serve a God who provides us his divine strength. No matter what you face, it may be marital problems, it may be health problems, it may be financial problems, it may be kid problems or children problems. Whatever we face is the Lord God himself who provides us his divine strength. And so as the Lord finishes our month here at the church on divine strength. He takes us this morning into the story of David and Goliath. This month here at our church, the Lord told us and divinely reminded us that our strength is of the Lord. God's word makes it clear that our strength comes from God alone. 
And as we come to the end of our prophetic month here at the Church on Divine Strength, this morning during our end of month message, we come to a verse in the Bible that helps us behold the strength of God divine. Listen, church, this is from what I call a divinely sober perspective. This is, is, is experiencing a, a, a passage of scripture that manifests for us, church, the strength of God divine. I understand, church, that that life can be hard. I understand that, that, that things in life can be tough, overwhelming. But it is a divinely important fact, church, that we know, that we understand, that we realize and recognize that our strength the, the, the source, the, the, the character, the nature, the essence of our strength comes from God alone. Church, this morning I simply needed to remind us of the strength of God divine. This morning, church, the title of our end of month message is simply the strength of God divine. As I started out this morning, sharing with us about our verse this morning. Our verse this morning is coming from our Old Testament scripture. It's out of the book of First Samuel, the 17th chapter and the 45th verse. And, and, and this verse, this, this solitary verse, it doesn't necessarily capture the magnitude of what the shepherd boy is facing. It doesn't necessarily capture the, the, the fact that for 40 days, King Saul and his army, the army of Israel, where we're being tormented by the wicked Philistines, specifically Goliath. If you read in your commentary, the commentary will tell you that they called Goliath a, 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 a champion. The commentary would tell you that, that Goliath stood over nine feet tall. Goliath, who, who the commentary will tell you, uh, uh, was, was, was from a people that were profusely wicked. They were, the commentary says, aggressive warmongers. And they were Israel's greatest enemy. So, 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 I cannot, and I do not want to, uh, uh, in any way, church, lead us to take this lightly. I, I, I encourage us, church, that we take to heart the divine fact. And, 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 and you hear me say it often, no matter the size of your enemy, no matter the size of your circumstance, no matter the magnitude of what you face, it is God alone who provides the strength of God divine. And this morning, churches, we embrace our solitary verse. It's immensely important that we set what I call a divine focus. It's immensely important that we come to a place of what I call a, a, a divine sobriety. A place where whatever obstacle we face, whatever enemy, no matter if it stands over nine feet tall, we declare the strength of God divine. This morning, our verse, church, for our end of month message, prophetically declares in our, uh, our first Samuel, uh, uh, and, and I'm going to read it, first Samuel, uh, uh, it declares for us, 
as it reads in the Amplified Bible, then David said to the Philistines, you come to me with a sword, a, a spear and a javelin, but I come in, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. That's what our solitary verse declares this morning. That's what First Samuel declares in our hearing this morning during our end of month worship. First Samuel 17, 45. It declares, and let me read it again. Then David said to the Philistines, you come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have taunted. Church, I, I don't want us to think this morning that our strength, that our know-how, that our ability and anointing or divine favor comes from anything that we have purchased or anything that we have earned. But it is and it remains the strength of God divine. Church, if we read in the word of God, we'll find out uh, through uh, uh, 1 Samuel 17 that David didn't fight against the giant in his own strength. We'll find that David didn't fight Goliath off of what he knew. David fought Goliath in the strength of God divine. And, and, and so as we close out this month of divine strength, if, if I haven't said anything else, look for your divine strength in God. Reach for your divine strength in God. Not in the things of this world, not in the influences of the day or famous people or popular antics. But look for your strength. And know your strength in the strength of God divine. This is how the Lord God places us, church, in this prophetic season. This, this is how God reveals to us, church, the strength of God divine. And so as we close out this morning... The Lord God continues to use our lives, church, to bring the fullness of the strength of God divine. And listen, all month long he positioned us as he ministered to us about the divine strength of God through his character, the divine strength of God through his nature, the divine strength of God through his essence. And this morning, as the Lord ministers to our church, the Lord God declares for us the strength of God divine. The Lord God declares for us in 1 Samuel 17, 45, as it reads in the Amplified Bible. And I'm going to close out here. Then David said to the Philistines, you come to me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, you have taunted. I love the Lord this morning because the Lord God declares in this month of prophetic divine strength, that he is our Jehovah Sable. That he is the Lord of hosts. God bless you, church. 
May the fullness of the strength of God divine continue to manifest itself in your walk and your relationship with the Lord. For he is our strength of God divine. God bless you.